Hi everyone, in this video we will learn how we can use the mmap function to allocate memory in a C program. So I have written this mmap.c program here. Let's open this with visual code. So this is the mmap.c program. I will go over the code and then we will compile and run this. So here is the main function. I have defined a signal handler. I will come to this later. So first we get the page size of the system using the get page size function. So the page size is generally uh, 4kb which is 4096 bytes. Then uh, we define the PID using the get PID function and this will return the PID of the process which is running uh, this code. Then we use printf to uh, print out the page size and the PID of this program and this is where we are using the MF function to allocate memory. So here we have defined this cache region which is a pointer to the memory and this MF function takes first argument as the address at which we want to allocate memory and the system will try to assign uh, us memory at that particular address but we have given null here so it will just give us uh, the memory at any available address then the second argument defines the size of the memory that we want to allocate so here we have given 100 times the page size which means it will be around 400 kilobytes of memory so we are allocating uh, about 400 kilobytes of memory then this defines what are the permissions on that memory so we have read and write permissions on that memory region then uh, this indicates whether this memory is backed by some file or not so we have used map anonymous which means that it is not backed by any file it is just a chunk of memory and it is private which means that it is not shared with other processes and because this memory is not backed by any file so we use minus one for file descriptor because there is no file with which we want to back this memory and we use zero as offset so these two arguments are used when the memory region is actually backed by some file now we check if the return value is map failed then we print out an error could not map and return otherwise we print out that we have mapped 100 pages at this particular address and then we have this while loop what this while loop does is it iterates over 0 to 100 and accesses the first byte of every allocated page and adds it to sum so this is just to make sure that we are accessing every page and then it sleeps for one second and it repeats it again and again so uh, the program will be stuck here so that we can analyze certain aspects of the program but uh, what if we want to exit the program then we can use control plus c and because we have mapped some memory and we need to unmap that before exiting the program so we have defined this signal handler uh, which handles the sigint which is control plus c and what this handler does is it unmaps uh, the memory region using m unmap call and it takes the address of the region and the size of the memory and if the unmap, unmap result is not equal to zero then we print out the error that could not unmap otherwise we print out that successfully unmapped and then we exit the program so that's the complete mmap.c code so let's compile it and execute it so i'll open the terminal and compile it using gcc mmap.c and then i'll run the error out so it shows that system page size is 4096 bytes the pid of this process is 19871 and then we have mapped some 100 pages at this particular virtual address and we can use control c to exit the program and it prints successfully unmapped so that's the mmap.c program now let's try to analyze this program further so what i'll do is i will comment out this mmap part so that it doesn't allocate any memory and i'll comment out this part as well and this part as well so now the program just uh prints out the page size and PID and just keeps running this while loop and I will also comment out this signal handler so now let's compile this program and run this so it shows 19925 as the PID 
Now I'll open another terminal and I have written this command here. So this is just the ps command and this hyphen o is used to define the output. So I want pid the virtual memory size which is the vss and rss which is the resident set size and the percentage of memory used in the output of this ps command. And I want all of this information for this particular pid. So I'll change this pid with 19925. So this shows me vsz which is the virtual memory size uh, this is the amount of memory which a program can access which is 4512 kilobytes and then when a program actually uses some memory that is when it uh, adds up in RSS which is the resident set size so RSS is 768 kilobytes which means that program can access 4512 kilobytes of memory but it is actually using just 768 kilobytes of the memory now let's uh, stop this program and let's uncomment the mmap system call. So here I will uncomment these two and I will also uncomment the signal handler. So here it will map some 400 kilobytes of memory but I'll keep this commented so that we are not actually using that allocated memory and it should just show up in the VSZ and not in RSS. So let's compile and uh, let's run this command again with 20226 SPID. So here we see that VSA did increase by 400 kilobytes, which is the 400 kilobytes extra memory that we allocated using the MMAP call. And RSS just increased by approximately 100, which is due to uncommenting the other parts of the code. And it does not include the 400 uh, kilobytes of memory which was allocated using mmap. Now let's stop this as well and let's uncomment the remaining part. Now we are allocating memory and we are also accessing the memory in a while loop. So now let's compile and uh, use this 20279 as the PID here. So now you can see that there is a significant increase in RSS because now it includes the 400 kilobytes of memory that is being accessed by the program. So we see a significant increase in both VSJ and RSS. So that's it for this video. Thanks and have a nice day.